Hey everyone, Danielle Fitzpatrick Clark here. Wow, my screen, <laughs> my internet's a little slow today. Um, probably because all the kids are on, they're on spring break here. So thanks for joining me for the live or watching the replay. And you can see I've got my nice little entrepreneur sign. Yay! Uh, <laughs> give you guys a little preview of that. So today, I'm just going to make sure you guys aren't seeing my big post-it notes over here. Um, so today I want to talk about how to fast track your way to becoming an influencer and authority in your niche. And this comes from a decade of experience <laughs> in working in the online space. And just, I took the long way around. So what I'm going to talk to you guys today is really ways to do this very quickly. And I like three, so I like the number three. Um, I have three children. I was one of three children. So myself and my own family and the number three just always seems to come up. Everything happens in three. So I'm going to give you guys three ways to fast track how to become an influencer and authority. I'm going to try to keep it under 10 minutes. Um, that's just good for me because I can be chatty. And uh, really, I want you guys to start thinking about what your business is and, and where you want to go with it in a much different way. So really, the point of my lives for for Entrepreneur City and for my coaching business is to help you first shift your perception and so that you can implement from there. <clears throat> so, you know, the first the, the first perception shift that I want you guys to really kind of step into is, you know, what is it that you really want to be known for? <laughs> and right now, um, I know if you're like me, when I was new to the entrepreneurial space, I was like, I just want to help everybody. <laughs> that was my go-to response is that I want to help everybody. I can help everyone and I can do this and this and this and this and this and this and this without thinking about, oh my goodness, when am I going to have time to help everyone do everything? And I remember hearing, I remember hearing people say, you, you need to niche down. Like really you need to be, you need to be known for one thing starting out. And I'm like, that's crazy. You can be known for lots of stuff. And the more I've seen the entrepreneurial space grow, the more I've seen the coaching industry grow, the more I've seen it, the inundation of people coming to the online space and selling their services, the more I'm seeing like, oh, I understand what they meant about really being known for one thing and really niching down. And, you know, that is a way to fast track. If you are known for one thing, if you are known for this one particular thing, then you are actually on your way to becoming that sought after influencer and, and thought leader and authority in that niche. And, you know, a lot of people ask, well, how do you exactly decide <laughs> what it is to niche? Um, how to niche down. And the first thing I tell people is that, well, what is it that you enjoy doing the most? What is it that you lose time when you're doing one thing. And it could be, it could be even that you're working with a certain type of person. Um, so it doesn't necessarily have to be a thing. It could be, well, you know what? I really love to coach and I really love to be on coaching calls and I really like helping my clients overcome objections. So that's usually a first place to start when you're niching down is like, well, what is it that you love doing? What is, or who do you love working with? Or what do you love helping people overcome? and kind of identifying that piece of it first. You know, and the second thing is, is that once you've identified the thing or the person that you want to work with, what is it that they're, what is it that people are most coming to you for help and they're having the most success with? That's kind of the second thing whenever you're niching down. What is it that they're really, you know, if you were to put out a post and say, hey, I have a solution for this, do you want it? And then 20 people respond versus zero. That would be something to kind of that would be something to look into because obviously people are already seeing you as knowledgeable in that area, and it's just a way of doing that mark that extra step market research. And you know the third thing is is that look at look at the industry that you're in. <clears throat> so you know if we're in the entrepreneurial industry, that's great. So what part of the entrepreneurial industry are you in? Are you are you um, a service based business owner that actually helps other digital marketing agencies? That's great. Um, are you a coach that helps other health coaches? So that's kind of where you want to, to look, you want to look within your niche and then see what's not there. Like, see what's not there. It's like the elephant in the room. Like, what is it that, you know, my colleagues and my competitors are doing and what is it that they're not? Where's the missing piece? Where's the gap within that niche? And once you understand that, 
oh, am I, am I the person to fill that gap? Do I have the knowledge to fill it? Or do I have the ability to figure out and have this not or go for that knowledge so that I'm filling that gap? So those are three things that you can do when you're trying to niche down. It's giving you some, some steps to implement immediately and niching down and being known for solving that problem. Not only is, is going to help you be very clear on your messaging. It's also going to be very um, clear when other people um, are suggesting you. So one of the things I look for whenever I'm looking for my own affiliate partnerships, for example, people that I want to promote for or that I want to send people to is that do they have do they have a product that my clients need and I don't I don't offer or I don't want to offer and can I pass them off? So that's another reason why being and having a niche and having a product that people absolutely need makes you an influencer because there's other coaches and colleagues out there that don't that don't offer that same service and they are looking for people to pass it off to. They're looking for people to pass their current clients off to, off to or people that they may not be their current clients. It could be prospects that they know they can't help. And that's another reason why having a niche is so essential. Being known for that is even more essential. So that's how I known that back five, six years ago. Um, I would probably, I probably would have grown much quicker than I did. I took the long way around. Um, so that's the best way to fast track from my knowledge is to niche down. The second thing is once you've niched down, once you know this is what I offer and this is why people need it, this is the gap that I cover, then you get to shout it out from the rooftops. <laughs> then it's not only essential that you you have acquired that product and that ability, that niche, you also need to share it because that's the other thing. If people don't know that you're known for that and only your clients do, and that's a small little bubble, of clients, then no one else is going to send people to you. So that's the next thing is to become an authority and an influencer in your niche. You have to get out there. You got to get visible. You got to let people know what you do. You got to be very clear on your message. So, and there's a lot of ways to do that. You know, there's podcasts, there's, you know, you can have another, another platform, which is a book. You can have a book that's specifically about the niche you sell and utilize that piece to get out there. Speaking opportunities are wonderful on stage. Um, there's lots of people that are looking for Facebook lives. And when it comes to, when it comes to putting yourself out there and being visible, what you're always looking for is adding value to whoever the host is and the host audience. So if you're niche down enough where you solve a problem and not no one else solves that problem, then that makes you really appealing to have as a guest on a show where your audience, where their audience could really benefit from what it is that you're offering, what it is you teach on. So that's a wonderful way to get visible is to have a niche. Of course, we're going to circle right back down to the niche and also um, offering that information to a host specifically because it'll help their audience. So being visible is the next step. So niche, visibility. And then the other thing that I love talking about is connecting. <clears throat> so this goes a little bit away from you, the business owner and what you're doing. And it's more about you looking for partnerships. So you offer this niche, right? You offer something very specific, a very specific product, maybe um, with something really specific that I can come up with. Maybe you actually help people get on more podcasts. So, you know, podcast is really big right now. We've got a lot of people doing that, but you're very specific. Like I actually help people get booked. I show them the best way to get booked and they're getting booked every single day for 30 days straight. Um, that's really niche. So the other thing to look for if you have that niche is the connection piece. So it's, it's a little bit outside of what you're doing for you and your business and your clients. You also want to look for who does something that I, that I don't do that dovetails what it is. I'm my, I'm a current niche in. I'm a, an authority in this niche. And have I made that connection? Have I reached out to those people? Have I reached out to those other um, influencers and authorities that have a dovetail product? And have I discovered what is, what is it that my clients need, that my current clients and prospects need that I don't cover? 
And, you know, cause that's, that's the next thing is like, if we really want to get known as an influencer, we also have to connect with other influencers and in other niches and create that collaboration. So, um, you'll hear, you're, you'll hear a lot of affiliate marketing, JVing, all that stuff. That is a way to fast track your success when it comes to being an authority and an influencer, especially when you've taken the first two steps. The next step, the last step is to connect with other authority and influencers where you guys dovetail and you can work together. So those are my three things. Those are the three things I hope you guys enjoyed and, you know, feel free to leave me any comments. I also want to just give my live event, oh, Entrepreneur City Live, you guys like the new logo? I just did that a couple weeks ago. Um, a shout out <clears throat> where we have invited authorities, <laughs> other authorities in niches that we don't ourselves currently, we don't, we don't provide this offering for our clients. So we have got people that are teaching others how to monetize on podcasts, how to sell from stages, how to do Facebook advertising. I love Facebook. I don't teach it because I'm not the expert in it. Um, also, we have people working on business credit and there's a lot more we have coming up. But all these guys are coming June 7th and 8th to teach you and not just teach you, show you how to implement strategies that will help you scale and help you be known, paid, and seen as the expert you already are. So the reason I'm talking about niche marketing is to get you guys ready for Entrepreneur City Live June 7th and 8th. And tickets are going fast, guys. So you want to go to the website, entrepreneurcitylive.com. Grab your tickets immediately. We have general admission tickets and we also have VIPs left. So entrepreneurcitylive.com. You'll see the speaker lineup. You see why these guys are disruptors and innovators and why all of them are making, if not multiple six figures, seven figures in their business. Most of them are making seven figures and beyond in their business. These guys are industry experts. They know how to build businesses. They know how to scale. They know what it takes to be an influencer and an authority in your niche. You got to come to this event. EntrepreneurCityLive.com and June 7th and 8th for general mission. And then we have a VIP upgrade for those who want to participate in media day. Media day is for people who are looking to get more interviews. So we're giving them stage time. They're going to work with Jane and powers on their infomercial. So it's a little bit different than your 30 second elevator pitch. This is actually going to get you booked on everything. Um, so they're going to have access to her. We're going to video record you. We're going to template your sizzle reel. That is a wonderful upgrade. If you have been looking to get on more stages, more podcasts, you've got to have a video sizzle reel. I myself won't even look at a speaker to be on our stages unless they have something I can watch. So go check it out. EntrepreneurCityLive.com. I hope you guys enjoy. Bye.